Hello, St. Timothy's families. It's great to be with you in this way. I really miss you. I wish I could see you on Sunday, don't you? Yeah. I do. I do. I wish I could see you. I have Peter. Hi. And he also looks like Peter Parker from Spider-Man. But he's not. He's actually Peter Bernheisel. Uh-huh. Right? And he is here with me because on Sunday morning, we're not going to be able to go to worship because of the coronavirus. So we're going to have worship at our home. And Peter, um, last week when I wasn't able to get out of the house, um, he made up a worship service for us. So this is what he had planned. And he has a cross and he has a prayer and he has a reading from scripture. And we did communion at our house. And then, um, we had my one son play viola and he offered some special music. So if you have any special music to offer up, go for it, right? So today, as we think about Sunday, March 22nd, 2020, we are thinking about Psalm 23. And Psalm 23 is all about the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. So Peter, um, my assistant is gonna show you from the Spark Story Bible, where you can find this uh, Bible verse, and also what you can do on Sunday morning. Totally feel free to shape it however your family does it. But these are some things that have worked for us. So we have gathered and welcome to our upstairs loft. We, on this couch every night, read from the Bible and we pray, yeah? Mm -hmm. Except on the nights that we're kind of tired and then we just kind of go to sleep. But oftentimes we do, right? And um, we gather together, and it's a really important part of our day. But on Sunday morning, what we're going to do is we have a special candle that we have lit today. We have our prayer rock. Now, at St. Timothy's, the children of St. Timothy's taught me how to pray with a prayer rock. And each person who prays um, gets the prayer rock to hold, and that's the person who's speaking. And so we have our own prayer rock. It looks a little bit different than the one that we have normally on, at church, but this one works for us. And I encourage you to find a rock or uh, something special around your house and use that for your prayer time together. So on Sunday morning, we're gonna gather and um, we're gonna read from Spark Story Bible. Can you um, show them the front cover? This is what we use, the Spark Story Bible. And it's page 160, and it's The Lord is My Shepherd. And it talks all about how God protects us, how God keeps us, and how God always is with us. And so we're going to read through that and um, even flip the page. Here we go. And that is David, who is said to be the one who wrote the psalm. And um, he is uh, playing his musical instrument and singing to God. And so sometimes people think that the psalm might have been a song. We don't know, but that was pretty cool to think about. So we're going to walk you through a time together. And um, if you want to do what we do, that's great. If you want to do something else, that is fine too. But we just wanted to give you some suggestions for Sunday morning since we won't be together. So the Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. God, thank you for today. Thank you for the gift of St. Timothy's. We pray that you are with us as we gather for worship in a different way. Thank you for each child and the grown-ups who love them. We pray for your healing for our world and for ourselves. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. So welcome. We have lit our candle and we are going to read through The Lord is My Shepherd. So if you guys want to read through that together and pause and um, when we read through scripture on Sunday morning, we oftentimes sing the song, Thy Word. So do you remember Thy Word? Thy Word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path yeah and why didn't i feel that one cool we get we i can teach it to you okay 
Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. And thy word is the Bible. That's what we talk about, the, the word of God. And so this is um, the word and that's, it's, it's guiding us. So if you could take a moment together to read through the Lord is my shepherd. That's the appointed Psalm 23 for Sunday, March 22nd, 2020. And then after you uh, have read it, you can come back to us, unpause it, and then I will guide you through a little reflection time. So. All right, welcome back with us. I hope you got a chance to read through The Lord is My Shepherd from the Spark Story Bible, page 160. It talks about David who cared for the sheep, and he talks about how God cares for us, how God always gives us what we need, how God is with us when we're scared, how God at night um, in those times um, is with us and keeps us from danger and always guides and um, that's pretty awesome. At the very bottom, it has a section, how do you know God loves and protects you all the time? That's a great question to, to talk through with your grown-up who loves you. Right there, there's the star. You got it. Mm -hmm. And perhaps if you want to, you can write a song or a poem about the things that God does for you. That's something that we could do together in our time one of the activities. Another activity, if you have extra cotton balls around your house, <laughs> you can take a piece of paper and draw a sheep, right? And then you can add cotton balls with your glue to give the sheep a little furry feel. And then remember that the Lord is your shepherd. And we haven't done that yet, but that might be a fun thing to do on Sunday. So um, now we'll have a song. Does that sound good? Yep. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Good job. And we talked last Sunday, um, or two Sundays ago, in Children's Spiritual Formation about the deaf people use this as a sign for Jesus. And so that's why we use that when we sing our song. So thank you. That's a great one to sing. Now we'll end our time together with our prayer rock. Okay, so one person who wants to start opens up the prayer and starts saying the prayer. And then when you're done, you pass it on to the next person. But if you don't want to pray your prayer out loud, you can just hold it and pray it in the silence of your heart and then hand it off to the next person. So Peter, would you like to be the one to start us off or do you want me to? You can. Okay, I'll start it off, I'll hand it to you, and then you can hand it back to me and I'll finish it up. Sound good? Mm -hmm. Okay. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. God, again, we give you thanks for today, that you are our good shepherd, that you protect and keep us safe, that you help us to take time to slow down beside the still waters, how you put the song in our hearts to sing. We pray that you are with us this week as we are home. Help us to continue to love you and love each other. And when we feel tired and grouchy, just Help us to snuggle up on the couch and have a break. We pray that you are with all the people who are sick and get them well, and all the people who are homeless. We pray that you are with all the people who are offering them care. And this week we pray for St. Timothy's who's helping out with the Interfaith Hospitality Network. Be with all the workers and be with everyone who is stuck in their homes. Just keeping all the, of the rest of us safe. So Lord, hear our prayer this day and always. 
we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. So now at the end of our time, we can say peace be with you. Peace be with you. And I'm allowed to shake his hand because we live together and that's okay. But when we were at um, church, we had to do like fist bumps or peace be with you. And that's another way of, there you go, or peace be with you. I um, am thinking of you. I'm holding you in prayer. Love to all. And I miss seeing you so much because I love seeing you. So I hope you have a great week and I look forward to seeing you when the time comes. All right. Bye-bye now.